Here is another terrific uh, picture of a liver. And you can see once again that it is congested because when you look very carefully at these little red pinpoint or streaked areas, these all represent central veins. And isn't it kind of interesting that even though we're looking at the liver grossly, we are actually seeing microscopic structures. There is a central vein representing the middle of a lobule. There are adjacent central veins. So it's kind of interesting that even though we're looking at the liver uh, grossly, we are seeing really microscopic lobules here, aren't we? If you were to look at these pinpoint or perhaps linear congested streaks microscopically, you would see that they would correspond to areas in the liver like here, like here, like here, which represent central vein areas in which you are seeing increases in uh, stasis of uh, blood cells. This would be, this would probably correspond to an area with your eyeball as being uh, congested. Also noted, note that the uh, longer or more chronic the degree of congestion or uh, stasis is, the more likely you are to pick up uh, hemosiderin cells within this area. So when you are looking uh, in this area and you see hemosiderin cells, you can uh, assume it was chronically congested. But don't be fooled. This little brownish pigment here represents probably bile within hepatocytes. And uh, what we're actually seeing out here in the sinusoids and central vein area is really not very much pigmented at all, is it? These are just fresh red cells. So this amount of congestion is not really chronic. Let's look at congestion of the uh, lung now as well. In the lung, we are also seeing areas in which the alveolar spaces do not appear to be that well delineated. They are perhaps filled with fluid. Uh, some of them are open, but in addition, if you take a look at these alveolar septae, they are showing tremendous congestion as well, aren't they? All of these little red stippled areas here are blood cells. These are congested lungs. If it was congested severely enough, there would be acute pulmonary edema or fluid within these alveolar spaces. If it was congested chronically enough, you would see uh, a considerable amount of macrophages with these, these alveoli that are loaded with a chronic blood pigment or hemosiderin, like you see here and here. This is generally a very acute, passively congested lung. You are not seeing too many of these hemosiderin macrophages here. And in addition, you're seeing mostly a significant amount of congested blood vessels within the septae and not so much in terms of actual edema within the alveoli. So this case shows very, very good examples of acutely uh, congested lungs and livers, and thank you very much.